hi guys you're welcome to this particular vlog in case this is the first time you're coming across my video the person you're hearing her voice at the background is grace and this is gracious stills today we'll be going from wedra down to og this is a part of Owere that i want to show you guys as you can see from here you see the popular rock view hotel that's the big uh, the top building you are seeing with that orange print okay so we are starting from wedral road this used to be a roundabout okay and from here guys will be plying through or g you will see the road you will see the places and all of that the kind of buildings we have in between so this is the prison uh, junction and not just that it's a prison junction it has this um traffic uh, light that it kind of regulates traffic at this place because of the kind of uh, buildings that they have like i said as a prison junction okay so we are headed down to og please stay tuned watch this video to the end you're going to enjoy this ride with me Oji is a village in Owere that is located in the Owere North local government area of Imo State. It is one of the several villages or settlements that is along Owere or Kigwe Road. As you can see, this is actually Okigwe Road, okay? So, this is located along Owere Okigwe Road. There are other settlements, okay, that are located by this roadside. But today, we just want to go through Oji. I like to say that by the roadside uh, leading to this OG has several government offices, okay? It has several uh, business areas too. Like we just recently passed the Imo Revenue Center and then by the right hand side you will see the National Pool University and the formal office for JAM, the formal JAM office, it's, it was located just by this side. Uh, just before imsu junction right this is imsu junction it has a traffic light too that regulates the traffic this used to be a roundabout of course it has four corners the other one leads by the right hand side leads directly to imsu gate and then by the left hand side you will go to works layout straight up as we are headed we are headed to oji or kigwe and all of that and from where we are coming from we are coming from wedra road guys Also, Oji Road or this road we are applying have a high number of hotels by the roadside and also along inside and all of that. Oji also as a part of Owe have very high hotel buildings. Okay, you will see a lot of hotels in Oji too. Guys, we are currently at the Oji flyover leading to the right of this flyover you will go to mpse that's Ebu road mpse and all of that and then from the left hand side of this flyover you are headed 
to Amakoya. From Amakoya, you head to Ohi, Akwakoma, Oluro, generally, right? So, and <laughs> if you've also been watching my vlog, there was something I mentioned about Oji. One thing is, immediately you pass that Oji flyover, guys, you're going to start seeing this. Did you notice something by the roadside? You're going to start seeing that just on the roadside. They pack that. I think they are. They are all these debts are here waiting for either the state's uh, truck that carries debt or something like that. But it is one thing that I feel like it's irritating. Anyway, I'm in any vehicle and I open my eye and I start seeing debt. I don't need to ask anybody where am I where where I am, okay? Because I already know that I am in OG. Did I mention so many restaurants by the roadside? You can see by the left, Chicken Republic. We passed just before the flyover. We passed a priceless store. So OG Road have a lot of stores. Okay, market places. We also have market square by that road and all of that. We have restaurants, fast food. Yeah, or it's actually a happening place, especially when you value your stomach, right? In terms of road network or in terms of neatness of the road, let me not say road network. I'd say that uh, some part of OG actually have a flawless road. At least, yeah, it has uh, a smooth road. Some parts, so not all the parts, but OG is one area in Owe that at least they have good road network. Of course, we have double lane in some of these places like Kamawaya, all the way from that uh, OG flyover, even to the market, until you now pass OG main, uh, uh, will I say OG main town or OG main village, yeah. So yes, I think the government understood that this part of uh, where is very highly populated. That's why they have good road, uh, smooth, a lot of junctions, okay, where you corner and all of that.
now let's talk about og market og market is one big market in over i think and i feel like everyone who is in over knows about og markets because it's a well-known market although from where i stay i can't possibly be shopping there but each time i come around here i see how that market is very big and uh, because it has a lot of village or let's just say vegetables that they come from villages and all of that you also have a lot of things that modern markets have okay although you can't compare that to maybe a laba international market or douglas market and another thing guys i'd like to mention about og market is it causes a lot of traffic because it's just by the roadside a lot of troubles just see this one <laughs> Tell me in the comment section your thoughts about you. Maybe you've lived in uh, in this part of Owere, or maybe you know this part of Owere very well. Tell me your reservations about Oji as a place where residents can stay. I don't, I'd like to mention that for me, I, I, Oji comes off as a place that is so noisy and so populated. So my kind of person, I may likely not live here unless it's inside, like deep inside where there's something like an estate or not just 12 develop but around this area that i showed you guys know i don't think i can comfortably live here and also depending where you're working <laughs> the traffic in og can just mess your life okay so i just want to thank you for watching this vlog thank you so, so much i'd like to end this particular vlog here but tell me in the comment section your thoughts also like the video help me share if you find someone who needs this particular video and i will see you again in another vlog thank you for watching and bye